Hi, collective. How are you doing? This is Healing Hands. Guys, I hope you're all doing okay. I am doing peachy. All right. I went and got the first ice cream of the season yesterday. So, yay. Guys, let us go deep. Let's go deep, see what's going on with my collective. Spirit, spirit, spirit. What is going on with my collective? I never know what I'm going to find when I come here and pull this tarot or this um, oracle cards. Holy Spirit. Okay. There's something about Eros love. Hmm. All right. There's also something about a runner. Are you dealing with a runner? Is there a situation where there is a separation or somebody's always separating or ghosting someone? It looks like it's an on and off type of relationship. Um, but it's Eros love, which means it is sexual. It's, you know, romantic, passionate. All right. It's an infatuation, a kind of love that is not, you know, grounded in deep things rather than just physical desires all right so whatever this relationship is for whoever this is resonating for um i feel like they are lessons that you're meant to learn within this situation or relationship and it says you have agreed with the other person your soul mate whoever this person is to um have and you know provide you with valuable life lessons all right, for each other in this lifetime. So spirit is like, find the lessons within your connection. So if you feel now, I also am picking up, you can make a runner stop running. If you figure out the lessons in there. And it's because we repeat those lessons. That's why, and because we repeat those mistakes and we don't learn the lessons is why, you know, somebody will be a persistent runner, right? Because if you learn the lessons and you can change that whole dynamic and whatever it is that you're doing or they are doing, you can change it around. It's either the runner, you know, chaser dynamic will end, right? Once and for all, or somebody will, I mean, definitely succumb, right? But if we're not changing things and we keep repeating the things and doing things the same way and expecting something to change, we're not going to get nowhere with it, all right? There's something here about lust. Again, we picked up um, energy about you know, um, infatuation now is lost. So obviously whatever this relationship is, someone is also questioning, is it love? Because I feel like you have a very strong connection with somebody that is very, very romantic where there is a lot of passion, a lot of physical physicality. Um, when, when you're with this person, you feel like, or when you talk to them, um, when you spend time with them, if you feel like, you know, they complete you, <laughs> But it looks like it's a tumultuous relationship where somebody is definitely mirroring you. All right. There's mirroring going on. And that's why I said, if somebody is a runner, you can change that dynamic. All right. And it's because we, we don't change it. That's why the dynamic keeps existing. Right. If we understand it and we can figure out the lessons that we're meant to learn within this situation, it will end. Right. So we need to figure out the lessons. I need to turn something off that is click, click, click in here if I can find it. All right. And stop clicking. All right, guys. So there is a situation here where someone is mirroring you. Okay. The person is mirroring you. So if you are insecure, so ask yourself if the person is running. What are you doing? Maybe you too, you know, like <laughs> subliminally, you are in a runner mentality, runner energy, because that's the person is reflecting, you know, yourself back to you. Okay. So until you change, find the lessons, learn the lessons and change whatever this is about yourself so that whoever you're attracting, even if it's the same person, they can mirror the new, much improved, better you to back to you. Okay. There is something here about arguments. Here it talks about twin flame reflecting back the truth. This can cause a feeling of vulnerability, which can trigger one or both twins to run from the relationship. Okay. So some of, I didn't want to say anything, you know, this twin flame of a thing. Um, 
when I got this energy, the runner energy, of course, uh, immediately my mind went to twin flame. But of course, those relationships are always filled with arguments. But, you know, you feel like you're connected to somebody. You're joined in the hip with someone. Like you can't live without them. Like they're your twin. They are this. Your mirror image. They are this. They complete you. You feel a, a false sense of security that someone is your twin flame. So you give them a pass. You know, it leads to argument. It leads to misunderstanding. It leads, leads to different things, right? Um, but there's constant, never-ending, repeating cycles of karmic lessons that need to be learned that someone is obviously not learning there's something here about pragma love all right uh, it talks about uh, enduring love pragma is a, a love that has matured and developed uh made to survive all the changes and adversities rising above the challenges so some of you may have been with somebody for a little bit right so it's been up and down it's been a runner chaser dynamic it might have been going on for a little bit um, and, and, you know, to a point where you feel like I said earlier on, you're attached or joined in the hip with someone. But whatever this is, it's a relationship that is very convenient for someone. Okay. It's a convenient relationship. Somebody feels secure in that, in that, in that relationship. Like there's someone here, uh, it says you are staying in your relationship out of convenience because starting over would seem like a dreadful task so you hold off on leaving them wow this says trust the guidance you are receiving so it says archangel uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany it says i am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance some of you are getting clarity mental clarity you're you're getting uh, spirit is leading some of you okay and it's like telling you trust the guidance that you're receiving there's something here about archangel michael is with you there's some some of you i feel like on if you're on a twin flame journey you're obviously on, on a spiritual path all right um now i don't know what that means for each of you but if you're on that journey of course the angel protective angel um is archangel michael so seeing archangel michael here i'm you know i'm not surprised he says even though you can't see it i am actively working on this situation i'm here and helping you so some of you um archangel michael is like i'm helping you through this i'm helping you you have to help yourself all right, because it's you're mirroring your own self back to yourself is what's going on. I am, I'm picking up the energy of people. Some of you are in relationships where it looks like you meet people and, you know, they, they do they show you a side of themselves and you're, you're baffled because you don't understand it. You don't understand. They are showing you your shadow side, your fears. They are bringing those to the surface. They are showing like if you have fears of abandonment, they will do things that will trigger those abandonment issues. If you have fears of, um, you know, maybe your self-worth, you know, like you don't feel beautiful enough, they will trigger things that will make you feel suspicious of them like they are with other women, like you're not good enough. Like they will trigger these things in you and it's meant for us to realize that and work on these things, all right? And Spirit is like, if we, you can do those things and regain your focus. It talks about trivial life matters that are distracting you from your goals. An Archangel, Metatron, and, and I are here to help you stay grounded. So Archangel Michael is telling you that together with Archangel Metatron, they are helping you through whatever this situation is. Okay. Love, love, love. Okay, I'm trying to pull this love energy. But I guess we're not going to use this um, deck. Because it just spilled everywhere. So let's see. I wasn't going to use this one. But since the other one decided to take itself out of the equation let's see if they could talk to you or communicate with you what would they tell you all right oh boy i just felt a tingly tingly so let's see someone would like to tell you you don't know how hard it was to let you go so letting you go was very difficult for somebody or maybe it's you there's a runner chaser dynamic here that somebody let someone go and it was really hard. But we are meant to learn the lessons. 
these people will leave they will come back in another way in, in in the form of other people for us to learn these lessons all right and it will be harder every time we let go all right some there's some of you that dealt with somebody who was not available or maybe it was you that just wasn't emotionally available. Now, maybe you mirror that back to who you were dealing with. Because you were not really, if you check it, maybe you were not really emotionally invested. Also, you were not really ready or emotionally available. So, that person was not, or appeared to you like they were not emotionally available for you too. There's something here about, I can't stop thinking about you. Someone obviously cannot stop thinking about you. If they're your twin flame. Of course, you guys are connected. All right. There's something that says you need to know that they love you unconditionally. And whatever separation is just, you know, temporary, physical here. In the, ether, in the ethers, you are all together. All right. There is no separation in the ethers. So the energy we're picking up here is the energy of probably somebody in separation. All right. Here it says, I am open to love in various forms. So you have to open yourself to love, to giving, and then can receive. Because if you're not open to giving and to receiving, then you're not going to get it, right? If you are not ready, genuinely 100% ready for a relationship, when we go into a relationship, we find people who will mirror that energy back to us. Because we're not ready, they too will not be ready. All right, they will ghost us, they will abandon us, they will trigger, they will make us feel insecure about ourselves. You feel like you're not beautiful enough, you're not this enough, you're not that enough. They will make, and it's not as if they don't love you because obviously there's unconditional love there, right? But because there's a soul contract that you're meant to learn something from this person, all right? So the question is, have you learned whatever this is that you're meant to learn? There's something here that says, I remain in balance with my emotions. There's something about yin yang. All right. Balancing the masculine and feminine energy that you have inside of yourself. This also tells me it's all about mirroring. All right. The light and the dark, the shadow side of yourself, those are being reflected in your relationships. All right. So I, I'm picking up the energy of somebody who's struggling to understand why they are having difficulties in their relationship. All right. I'm not understanding that you are attracting people who will reflect your um, shadow side back to you. All right. Because you need to work on those things. If you are a jealous partner, you will you will you know and those are it's a shadow side of the aspect of yourself that needs to be worked on that you haven't worked on probably you've been burying it under the rug spirit will send you somebody that will you know provoke and evoke those emotions of jealousy inside of you they will do things that will make you feel jealous to a point of explosion and you have to now confront and deal with you know those emotions so i hope this is helpful and you know you can find a way to transmute or transmutate all this energy and emotion and learn the lessons and use it to move your relationship forward okay and also remember when you're in a twin flame relationship or in a, a soulmate relationship you can only um account for yourself right you don't have any control over the other person they have a, they have their free will to do whatever they want to do right you just have to do your own part and then once you correct the imbalance on your own part you will watch spirit now reflect this back the new you back to you all right so if you now work on yourself to a point where you're no longer in a jealous um you know um energy then you're no longer in an energy of insecurity of not being sure of yourself of abandon you know fearing somebody will leave you you're com more confident than before spirit will now send you somebody who is confident and somebody who will not abandon you somebody who will empower you so i mean we are who we attract all right. Okay, guys, this is Healy's Hands. Until next time, bye.